Alaska and commercial fishing go hand in hand. It's a huge job creator for Alaskans. It's a huge wealth creator. Six billion pounds of seafood every year. That breaks down to $14 billion and 60,000 jobs statewide. A pillar of the Alaska economy that because of the COVID-19 pandemic threatened the industry and the coastal communities it supports. The potential to have our fishing fleet get infected, our seafood processors, and not have a seafood processing season in a community where it represents 90 or 95 percent of our economy uh, would be nothing short of devastating. We want to make sure that when uh, outside workers came in, that they weren't coming in with the virus and infecting our communities. Communication. Direct calls from the governor himself. Collaboration. Combined with state resources were the reasons why there was success during the 2020 season. Our number one priority was the health and safety of our stakeholders. Our health team got together with our chief medical officer, Dr. Zink, worked with the processors, worked with the communities, and set up a series of protocols, uh, testing protocols, isolation protocols, quarantine protocols if necessary for these workers. And they worked hard to make sure that uh, we understood the science uh, and and the, the means to protect the community. The fact that they were willing to take input from industry was a big part of, of the success. Um, that it wasn't wasn't uh, dictating exactly what we had to do, but really collaborating with us to see what was reasonable and practical. Fish were caught, money was made, and Alaskans were kept safe. We never took COVID into one of the, the communities or the vessels that we operate. It's critical that that uh, process took place in the manner it did this year, and quite frankly, we're, we're pretty proud of what, uh, what occurred.